Oh, I, I wasn't going to my fridge or anything. Um, wait, is it that time of the week again? It always is when you're here, right? Let's have let's have it. Kendrick. Today we're going to do something very simple. So simple that we don't need any tools except for the measuring stuff. Uh, it's called a gin and tonic and another variation called a gin and sonic. Um, for this you will be needing of ice you're going to need to use one jigger of London number one gin um, don't be alarmed it's actually colored blue so we add that in there Pop. all right um, seeing as we're using a very big glass you might need two jiggers there you go for every jigger of for every jigger of gin, you will need to put in three jiggers of tonic water. Today we're using Fever Tree, uh, so we put in two jiggers of London Number One gin in this cocktail. So we're going to need to put six. Look, it's like a tinge of blue in it. The, the, the peely citrus comes out from the tonic water. It works well with the gin. The good thing about Fever Tree is that it's a, it's a tonic water that's very neutral. Uh, it's not very, um, it's not over, very overpowering and it actually really goes well with gin. And this is really, really good. Um, but there's another option for people who don't like overly don't like the taste of tonic too much and we're gonna go at it right now another glass full of ice in another glass full of ice we add two jiggers of london number one gin the only reason why we do two jiggers is because the glass is very very big Do you remember when um, the, the gin and tonic was for every jigger of gin, we were, we were to use three jiggers of tonic water. Well, instead of doing, so total of six because we use two jiggers of gin. So gin and sonic is half soda water, half tonic water. So we will add, we will add, um, three jiggers of soda water instead of six jiggers of tonic water. It's been kept very, very cold. Now there's, a, there's no particular order in which to do this. The only reason why I didn't do this is because it turns out I only had one bottle of tonic water um, that was in the refrigerator. So I had to cool the, the remaining tonic water that I had left. I measured it out, I pre-measured it out, the three jiggers, and I had to cool it a little bit. So one, so I'm starting the soda water first, that's two, jiggers of water, and then three. And then we add our tonic water that I've been cooling in the fridge. Uh, I've been cooling this, I've been pre-measured the three jiggers into this tiny glass with ice, and I cooled it down as much as I possibly could in the last maybe couple minutes. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna strain it in so I don't get the ice in. So there you go. The gin and sonic. Mm. All the good flavors of the gin and tonic aren't really there anymore because it got diluted by the soda water. I think that if you're really good, if I think that 
in terms of flavor, uh, gin and tonic is much better, especially with the fever tree tonic water. Um, sonic just makes everything a little bit more, more or less. Isn't, uh, a sonic makes everything diluted and you don't get the strong citrusy peel taste of the gin and tonic. So why don't you guys give this, uh, these uh, cocktails a try? Let me know how, you, how, how it goes for you. Cheers.